Hello. In this video, we are going to do a CCNA Cisco Certified Network Administrator Practice Test. And as always, we will be using one of the most popular practice test websites, Skill Test Pro. So, let's get started. And the first question is, what IPv6 transition method allows IPv6 packets to be encapsulated inside IPv4 packets for compatibility? Is it dual stack, NAT64, DNS64, Torito, or EUI64? The correct answer is Torito. Torito encapsulates IPv6 packets inside IPv4 to enable IPv6 connectivity across IPv4-only networks. And the next question. A network administrator needs to limit bandwidth usage for a specific application on a Cisco router. Which feature should be used? Access control lists, or ACLs? Quality of service, or QoS? VLAN tagging? Spanning Tree Protocol, or STP, or OSPF cost? The correct answer is Quality of Service, QoS. QoS manages bandwidth allocation by prioritizing or restricting traffic based on specific rules. And the next question is, what does the command Switch Port Mode Dynamic Desirable do on a switch interface? Forces the port into access mode? Forces the port into trunk mode, disables trunking, sets the port to block all VLAN traffic, or allows the port to negotiate trunking if the other side is also set to negotiate. The correct answer is allows the port to negotiate trunking if the other side is also set to negotiate. Dynamic Desirable actively attempts to form a trunk with another switch using DTP, also known as Dynamic Trunking Protocol. The next question, which spanning tree protocol version allows for faster convergence and multiple spanning tree instances? Is it STP, RSTP, MST, PVST plus, or BPDU? The correct answer is MST. Multiple spanning tree, or MST, enables faster convergence and allows multiple spanning tree instances to optimize VLAN paths. Now on to the next question. What happens when a router receives a packet with a destination IP that is not in its routing table? Is it the router drops the packet? The router sends an ARP request? The router forwards it to the next available neighbor? the router sends an ICMP redirect, or the router assigns a default route. The correct answer is the router drops the packet. If no default route is configured, the router drops the packet and sends an ICMP destination unreachable message. Now on to question six. What type of DNS record maps a domain name to an IPv6 address? Is it A record, MX record, Quad A record, PTR record, or C name record? The correct answer is Quad A record. Quad A records map domain names to IPv6 addresses, while A records map to IPv4 addresses. Now on to question seven. A network engineer needs to establish a secure site-to-site -site VPN between two offices. Which protocol should be used? Is it L2TP, PPTP, SNMP, IPsec, or Telnet? The correct answer is IPsec. IPsec provides encryption, authentication, and secure tunnels for site-to-site -site VPN connections. Now on to question 8. A router is configured with both OSPF and EIGRP for different network segments. A destination is reachable via both protocols. Which route will be preferred in the routing table? Is it the OSPF route? The EIGRP route? The route with the longest prefix match? The route learned first? Or the route with the highest metric? The correct answer is the route with the longest prefix match. 
Longest prefix match, which is the most specific subnet mask, is the primary factor in route selection before administrative distance. Now moving on to question 9. Which command would an administrator use to verify the status of a trunk port on a Cisco switch? Is it show IP interface brief? Show interfaces trunk? Show running config? Show VLAN brief? Or show MAC address table? The correct answer is, sorry, the correct answer is show interfaces trunk. The show interfaces trunk command displays active trunk ports and the VLANs they are allowing. And finally, last but not least, question 10. A network administrator wants to configure a switch to prevent unauthorized devices from connecting to specific ports. Which feature should be implemented? Is it port mirroring, VLAN trunking, port security, STP, or BPDU guard? The the correct answer is port security. Port security allows a switch to restrict access based on MAC addresses, preventing unauthorized devices from connecting. And that's it for this video. If you're interested in more videos like this, check out the channel for more. And also, I will leave the links to Skill Test Pro in the description and in the first comment of this video. See you in the next one.